Okay, so if you look at this, this is a way more detailed view of the portal. Before, you could just see your questionnaire, and you could upload documents. But what you see here is everything about the vendor, their address details, who are the contacts within the vendor, uh, and so on. Now we allow the vendor to edit these details, but the details are not approved until somebody from your company, an employee, goes in, reviews them, and approves them, right? Because you wouldn't want vendors to change their own bank details, for example, without you knowing about it. So there's an approval workflow associated with all of that as well. Again, this is just the starting point. The portal is fully customizable. If you think that some of this information is not relevant to your vendors, or if you want to show more information to the vendor, uh, that can be done as well. So request for quote, view purchase orders. You can see all of the purchase orders that we have. Uh, the vendor can export this as a CSV or an Excel file. They can choose to look at the details of each transaction. There is a help desk, which allows vendors to raise support cases within NetSuite. And then once you do that, it allows them to track the progress of these issues. A cool feature is also a live chat. So, you know, they wouldn't need to call in, pick up a phone or email. They can open up the chat, type in the question or a comment that they have about an issue that they've raised, and somebody can respond in real time. Now you can also do OCR. So there is a section, um, an upload vendor bill section right here. Vendors can drag and drop their documents here, and the OCR engine will look at it, scrape the data out of it, and create a staging record within NetSuite. Now, if the staging record passes all of the validations that you have in place, it goes ahead and creates a vendor bill transaction within NetSuite. But if there's an error, it will stop at the staging phase. So they've uploaded the document. It doesn't quite create the vendor bill. It creates a staging record, and then somebody from the company can go in look at what the errors are, correct them, and then kick off the rest of the process. Now, this works with whatever workflows you have set up within NetSuite. It doesn't interfere with any of that. It does two-way matching, three-way matching, uh, works with any rules that you have set up. Again, it also integrates with document collaboration for NetSuite. So this is uh, very similar to what you saw before. You can expose files to your vendors that they can view, download, preview, share, uh, and they can also upload documents. And say you have a relationship with a vendor and you know it's time to move on to a different vendor for whatever reason, you can also choose to offboard a vendor. So you simply click initiate offboarding and that kicks off the whole offboarding process. And then once that is done, your vendor will no longer have access to the portal or any of the data that you have on them. And that's it. That's it for the vendor portal piece of advanced entity portals.